What's your name, love? My name is Nyla. Nyla, where are you calling me from, Nyla? I live in Nevada. You live where? Nevada. Nevada? I don't think I've ever heard. Is anyone coming from Nevada? I don't think so. Um, well, Las Vegas, but they just say Las Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> what part of Nevada do you live in? Las Vegas, yeah. Oh, why did you just say Las Vegas then? Eh, Las Vegas is eh. I'm just here for school, so. So you were about to say Nevada instead of Las Vegas? I'm just used to saying states. I'm from Ohio. I don't say Lorraine. I say Ohio. This is true but las vegas is what people normally More. say outside of nevada so, You're right. so okay so when you said nevada i'm thinking a different location outside of las vegas oh. but you're in las vegas yeah i'm in las vegas it feels yes. like you're not a fan no i'm not the biggest fan i've been out here a long time okay all right well let's keep going how old are you babe i'm 23 23 what do you do for a living i'm a administrator for a private soccer training company and then i'm a nursing student administrator for a private soccer company yeah and you're what else a nursing student nursing student soccer okay do you have any kids no okay what's your zodiac sign i'm a capricorn capricorn so you say you're out there from school you're from where ohio mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so we got Nia. She's in Nevada. Nyla. We're gonna say Nevada. Nyla, I, I apologize. Okay. Nyla. Nyla. Nyla, she's in Nevada. She's um, an administrator for a private soccer company, also a nursing student, 23 Capricorn, uh, but you're from Ohio. You're in Nevada for school? Yeah. So are you gonna leave once you graduate? I'm out. As soon as, as, soon as I get my license, I'm out. Yep, Texas. Where do you want to go? Texas or, or Florida, one or the other. We'll see. She said, "So it's like she going the plane ticket is going to be scheduled right after she graduates." So, yep. okay, Nyla, you definitely look good, girl. So let's get into it. I got beans and bologna. Here we go, <laughs> young twenty three. I I see some y'all. Some people like her. Some people don't. Obviously. Um, she got the tattoo going on her shoulder, yes. and that's the, that's what we can see right now. You know what this is? I'm gonna go ahead and make my assumptions. You can't tell this sister nothing at all. You hear? I tell you why. I think it's a big red flag whenever anybody and Kendra mispronounce these sisters' names, and they soon as they Kendra mispronounce it, they be like Nyla. They just shout and stop, and you're going to get it right right this instant. I don't know. I just think that's kind of weird, real weird to get in for it to be so aggressive like that. But that shoulder tattoo, that whole shoulder mural, we know what we're most likely dealing with here. This is a modern hyena in training. <laughs> Appreciate your squeegee, kid. Says Ebony K, without makeup, looking. Stop the cap. So here we go. We're going to let her cook. Hit the like button. What kind of man are you looking for? Um, um, that's a good question. Level-headed, calm, quiet, collected, no kids. Yeah. Level-headed, calm, collective, no kids. You have no kids, so that's a strong no for you. Yeah. Okay. And what, are, what are some other I wouldn't say a strong no. It's like a you got to be pretty great if you have kids. I had a guy that just said that on the show. He said, it's, um, if you had kids, you have to go above and beyond. Yeah. So I guess you're saying it from a female perspective. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but the preference really is a guy with no kids. Yep, yeah, that's the preference. Okay, what are your other deal breakers? Um, cigarettes. I got nice teeth. I want someone with nice teeth, good dental hygiene. Um, preferably taller than me. I'm only 5'3", five, five, so I feel like that's not asking a lot. At least like 5'6", 5'7", 5'8", up. Um, athletic, I go to the gym six days a week. I can't date someone who doesn't work out. 
Okay. So you have to work out. Um, okay. Anything else? Those are my. Let's do the kids are Yeah. They said she fine. Uh, I guess they said you got a body. Let's do the Kendra cam. What is Kendra? I stand up? Yeah, you stand up and we see your full body. Okay. I'm sorry. I have on baby shorts. <laughs> yeah, I'll be working out a little bit. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo. This is where they get y'all. This is where they get y'all, man. This is critical. This is where y'all mm -hmm. most vulnerable and weak. She taking mm -hmm. advantage of vulnerable men. Mm -hmm. We were talking about mm -hmm. this last night. Mm -hmm. she, she's taking advantage of men. <laughs> <laughs> listen, they that listen. She got up, and the first thing she did was start jiggling her booty. And y'all done back, y'all done, they done bought it back. AMG approved or no. <laughs> stop can we stop can we stop you you want to know what another uh deadly sin is in conjunction to gluttony lust <laughs> well, there look, you go look the fat follows where well, everybody like it right now I'm not impressed i'm i'm over it I knew what was gonna happen when she stood up. I could tell by the light of her eyes she knew. And when she said she worked out six days a week, I said, "Okay, it's gonna be what it's gonna be." But y'all fellas, y'all gotta stay strong. Ain't nothing back there but doo doo. So here we go. Hit the like button. We're gonna let her keep going, and we're gonna check her Instagram out. She got a whole lion on her arm. Whole lion flower. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I be working out a little bit. Woo! Is that, woo! You got the body the guys like, girl. <laughs> okay, they're telling me to ask you, do you have an OnlyFans? I do, as of like two weeks <laughs> ago. Two weeks ago. Okay, they, the cousins have already investigated. So what do you do on your OnlyFans? Um, usually it's like, I guess, spicy workout content. Be content. I see workout content. Yeah. People like to watch my butt when I squat. So. Wait, say, say it again. I coughed. <laughs> I said people like to watch my butt when I squat. So. People like to watch her butt when she squats. Holy hell. And that's what we talking about. She gonna walk up in here, one of you brothers. Guys, look at all this money my girlfriend made just from selling fans. Only. That's it. O only only fans. That's all she's only fans. That's it. All she sold was fans and she made this much money. So that's <laughs> all. <laughs> we back at it. Huh? I don't know. That ain't even a deal breaker for some of y'all, unfortunately. OF Bay. OF Bay. She said, listen. Duh. I guess it depends on. How much black pill residue you can endure? I don't know. I because OF definitely is some, some degree of black pill. Your woman is exposing all her goodies that's supposed to be for you to the world, theoretically. So yeah. <laughs> and like I said, she's taking advantage of vulnerable men. There's men out there, they can't get no cuda cotta, they in sales, they in a mama basement. And they will pay this woman $15 a month to watch her. She ain't say the whole thing. You ain't just working out. You ain't got no clothes on. Tell the truth. Shame the devil. And y'all yeah. brothers, I can't sit here. Two things is true. Get it how you live. Same thing with the men. So y'all got to do better or be keep being victims. That's it. Yeah, because listen, man. Do better. Stop. I'll, that's a whole nother conversation. But yeah, folks that's out here patronizing this OF movement. Y'all, the reason why these sisters act like this, delusion they taking all y'all money, says, I'm with you, Mr. Walker. I'm over these big old arses. Women like this take advantage of men's thirstiness. I kind of blame men for this issue. We wholeheartedly blame them. So here we go. Hit the like button. So have your head cut off. Move back a little bit. Uh, when she squats. So you got to pay to see that. Yeah. 
down. You want to see these toes? I want to see some birthday, all that. <laughs> so you got to pay to see the squat and you got to pay to see the toes. Um, Nyla, let's, when was your last relationship? Um, two years ago. I skipped over a question. Does the guy got to make a certain amount of money to be with you? You got to make enough money to keep me happy. So I guess that depends on your expenses and my expenses. If you have lower expenses, then it just depends. I feel like nowadays at least six figures is like the normal. At least six figures is the normal. I'm just curious, how much money does it take to keep you happy? It depends. It depends. A de decent amount. Yeah. Well, what are some of the things he should do to keep you happy? I like little things. I like flowers. I like. I like going on hikes. I like going to art museums. I well, like. Um, none, none of that is expensive. Flowers, hiking, crazy. Huh? Yeah. Nothing. Tell the truth. You like Cash App? You like Venmo? You like Zelle? All of that, you like straight cash, homie. Shout out to Randy Moss. Yeah. <laughs> and if you into women like this, like you said, you can't sit here and be mad and hate at her. Either get your money up or don't deal with her. She's a she's transactional. A lot of these women are like I said, can't throw smoke at them, let them keep doing this till they can't do it no more. And if you can afford them, and if that's what you want to spend your money on, go ahead. Yep. Tell you, yeah, fellas, listen here. All the brothers that's in bad situations and Y'all in a position where y'all feel, feel inclined to patronize this woman's OF. Fret not. Her day is coming. It's coming. She's going to come to a day where that OF subscriptions and all that going to dive down. And she's going to find herself desperately reaching out for some alpha male that done alpha widow her. And it's going to be long, long too late. So don't fret. Don't fret. Because you always reap what you sow. But stop paying her, her OF bill. <laughs> Man. Appreciate your squeegee kid coming through tonight. Says, I know at Divine Photos, and I have said it a thousand times, Kendra's show is just a content creator infomercial at this point. Not looking for a relationship. I agree. That part. Appreciate your divine photos. Says Kendra need to keep it a buck and stop giving OF models and scrippers a platform. Everyone knows they're not here for meaningful relationships. Mm -hmm. I don't think any of these women are. Like you said, that's the obvious. That's for men. Like you said, men got to use their common sense. I don't blame Kendra. Hell, she's trying to get likes and views. If a man see this woman and you take her serious, that's on you. Yeah, this... We discussed it. We believe this is just like a cultural rite of passage at this point. Have you gone on Kendra? Have you gone on Ashley Dalton? Have you gone on the Bloom Show? You got to take your turn, make your rounds. That's it. Like I say, none of these women serious. If I said, don't even got to be OF or or dancer. You got women up here that are lawyers, business owners. All these women, none of them are serious. That's what I'm saying. So <laughs> it's just. Yeah. Glaze on. Here's the thing. If she like you, she'll let you glaze for the free. No membership. <laughs> there you go. You got to be tall and hitting on something. Appreciate you, DB. He says, she wasn't raised to be a wife. You could tell. Nothing but problems. Pound town shorty for the right price. They saying $60 to $80 if she nasty. Price went up. <laughs> uh -huh. So here we go. We're going to let her keep going. Hit the like button. Too crazy. I like trips. I like going out of the country. I travel a lot. So, yeah. Okay, maybe that's more costly. But hikes and flowers and that, you don't need six figures for that. But maybe the trips is where the six figures comes in. Yeah. For so sure. are we saying a bare minimum of 100K? I'm going to say a bare minimum of 100K. I think that's bare. Three. Listen, like, fellas, I don't know what I got to do. You know? I said it again. I said, I'm, I feel like I'm it. Like, I'm smart. Like, come on. I'm in one of the top nursing programs in Nevada right now. Graduated with 4.2 GPA. No kids. 
work out, eat healthy, clear skin. I ain't got no type of makeup on. That's it. You know. So let's play devil's advocate. Can a, she's 23 years old, fairly young. Can a man clean her up? Is she part caught up in that generation where they live free? Is there a simp? He gotta be a simp. He ain't gonna be. He gotta be a sympathetic guy with some bread, maybe forty something. Huh? They, they, uh. simp. Now here's my thing. I would think it would take the opposite of a simp to go in and wrangle her. Well, he's not gonna have any success. He's just gonna be the person to fall victim. Oh, uh. yeah. <laughs> so the person. That's why I said devil's advocate. He gets some simp in there. He's going to do whatever she say. He's going to foot the bill. All that. Now, yeah. Now, are we saying there's not a guy out there that would be like, you know what? Crazy. That we saying there's not a guy out there crazy enough that she likes this. Like, you know what? I see you young OF chick. All right. You ain't out here getting straight penetrated. So I'm going to come. And see if I could wrangle you because you smart. You're in the top nursing program in Nevada. You got cheeks on top of cheeks. No kids. Clear skin. Huh? There's not a guy crazy enough to try to wrangle this beast? I think there is. Well, he has possible. Like you said, when you come to, I'm talking about her best deal. She can get a guy. Ain't going to be no monogamy, none of that. I'm talking about for a guy that's going to do what she want him to do. And a straight up simp. Like, yeah, uh, if, if you ain't got a little bit of ice around your heart, don't deal with women like this. That's what I'm gonna say. If you really a kind brother, <laughs> don't don't go nowhere near her because she going to chew you up and spit you out. They call them man eaters. The only man that is equipped to do you got to be a little cold. You got to be a little toxic because she toxic as fitting so you got to shout out to uh, Luna. They're talking about you got to match it. No, women ain't supposed to be toxic at all. But she is. She a young, vibrant hyena. And it's going to take some big old alpha male strategy, brother, going there and pound her into submission. <laughs> yeah, if you some brother and if you don't have little to no experience with women, but you come into some finances, this is this is what we tell you to stay away from. You got little to no experience with women. You might got less than five bodies and you 30 years old and you've been out here single all this time. This is the woman that's because you're going to be head over heels for this woman. I'm telling you, don't do it. And she going to throw on that fake horny femininity on you. And if you don't know what's going to happen, there's a very particular scene from the movie Harlem Nights. Check it out. <laughs> so, here we go. Don't play with it. It's the resume is speaking. <laughs> Fellas, I don't know what y'all got to do, but y'all got to get some jobs. Y'all got to get the coins up. Because uh, the, the girls y'all want, they fence the child. Yeah. Come back up. All right, did I ask you if the guy, I know you told me you had to work out. Did I ask you if he has to look a certain way? Um, I, I would say no, you, you do got to work out. So I think an aesthetic comes with that, but you don't have to be like, like, boom, anything like that, but you know, healthy. Okay. What would you say if there was a guy that wanted to date you, but had an issue with your only fans, would you keep it? How does that work? Well, it's so new. So it's like. Wouldn't be opposed to taking it down to be so honest. Like it's brand, 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 brand new. So yeah, I'm not tripping. tripping. Okay. So we already did. I, I kind of went backward because I, I skipped the money question. So now when was your last relationship? About two years ago. Two years ago. You don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? About eight months ago. Eight months ago, eight months ago. Okay, so are you waiting for a relationship? I just, I'm busy. I don't know. That's why I'm on here. I, it's kind of hard for me to date. I got a lot going on. I don't have too much time to like be out and about and meet people the normal way. Okay. All right, fair enough. What are three flaws you have to work on? Um, I'm a little OCD. Like I like things a certain way. Um, 
I guess, I guess, I don't know, I'm 23. Maybe I could be better with communication or a compromise. And mm, I don't know, I'm pretty damn great. I'm, I only got two. Sure we are, man. This is the very, it's the typical, like you say it. The kind of validation she getting, we about to check this Instagram out. It's all going to make sense. Like I say, well, I can't blame some of these women for acting like this because, hell, the men... She, get, uh, she getting the validation in the chat. The one brother, this brother in the chat, talking about they spend 100K on her. And that's the problem. You know, whether we joking or not, fellas, I'm telling you, that validation, these women see this. They look and say, they look and see somebody say, I will spend 100K on that. And they head get bigger and bigger. And they become more and more spaced out and more and more delusional. And they collect more and more of y'all hard-earned dollars. <laughs> so here we go. Land your plane, Bon Quisha. And like I said, the sad part is more than likely she's gonna have these guys in her inbox. They're one thing we gotta understand. I think I think it's all warped when we ain't talking about no happiness, no fulfillment. But she gonna land these guys. What they gonna give to her, who knows? But huh. Yeah. Yeah, they're going short time, not a long time. Y'all know what it is. Hmm. Hmm. And why would a guy be one thing you do not lack is confidence, y'all. You got the confidence, girl. Oh, uh, what's the age range you would date? You're 23. I, I would say 28 to 40. 28 to 40. Oh, you go to 40. Yeah. Okay. Prefer Should the guy be in your bottom? Say it again, honey. I said preferably like 30s. I like that range. 30 and up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Should the guy be in Nevada? No. Preferably not in Nevada. It's mm -mm. not in Las Vegas. If you're in Las Vegas, don't jump into my DM. Don't follow me. Don't talk to me. But yeah, anywhere else is fine. Where do you want to move to again? You said Houston? I said either Texas or Florida. Okay, Texas or Florida is where she's gonna move. When do you graduate? 2026. Okay, so in two more years. Yep. Okay. okay. Now, I'm not sure if I asked this question. Why would a guy be lucky to be with you? I mean, at this point, they can answer that question by themselves. Like, <laughs> come on now. They're already lurking on the page. I, yeah, I ain't even got to answer that one. I'm sorry, Kendra, I ain't got to answer that one. She says she ain't got to answer that one. All right, let's do it. So, Nyla, we just dropped the Kendra G Singles dating app this week. Have you downloaded it yet? I haven't, Okay, but I will. Yes, you're going to need to download it, but I'm going to let you show it your Instagram because we just launched this week. But you will need a profile on that platform, too, because that will be a way moving forward people can reach out to you. But in the meantime, I'll let you start with your Instagram. What is your Instagram page? I, I am Goddess Nyla. That's I it. am Goddess Nyla. And on the app, would you use your real name? Yeah. You would, would it be how do you spell Nyla? N Y L A. Because on the app, you can search people by their names. So N Y L A. So download the app, set up your profile, so the guys can also reach out to you via that room that way too. Okay. Okay. Just on the app store? You already did the... Say it again? Just on the, the iPhone app store, I can just download it? Yeah. Just on the iPhone Apple store, if you have an iPhone or an Android, go to Apple store or go to Google Play and you download it. Um, I've, it's already on my phone. But, okay, listen, real quick, someone's asking for you to do the Kendra Cam again. Do you want to? You don't have to because you already did One more time. I work hard for this body. This ain't... This is not bought. This is built, okay? Not bought. She built it. Okay. I mean, what? what? Okay, okay, Nyla. You don't got to show you. Okay, Nyla. O okay, okay, Nyla. I'm sorry. Wait a minute now. Uh-oh. She knows. She knows. And like I said, man, hey, you got to just tip your cap to him. This it's a duck. It goes for men and women. This is like a young man walking around with a million dollars in the bank. He can do what the hell he want. It is what it is until the money ain't in the bank. And then when he got $10 in the bank or he overdrafted, 
and then you can say something. But right now, uh... <laughs> why can't a sister like this? Why can't she be wholesome? Why can't she be wholesome down to earth and just be like a regular human? It's like, hey, you know, I just want a husband and, you know, we could build together. And and now my want my husband, my one man that I'm devoted to can have all this big old juicy dookie booty all to himself instead of me spreading this this pie all over the internet. That's my question, man. Why why traders? Shout out to my girl Heather Queen, the traders. <laughs> like I said, you wake up every day with two thousand people in your inbox and people sending you gifts and taking you on vacation and offering and to do this stuff and <sighs> You know what? Ain't gonna. I get it. You know, being up here, we get a little bit of empty validation, and I get it. It does. It feels nice. It does compared to the hate messages. <laughs> compared to the hate messages. So I, I can only imagine. You know, you get ten nice messages, feel good. These women getting five thousand, ten thousand, horned up. Drink your bath water. Eat your dirty draw draws messages i can't imagine what that feel like i guess you start grinning grinning like that but grinning like a chess cat <laughs> yeah and then she go over and click on this guy's profile he talking about eating this and doing that to, and then she go look and say man this guy driving all these expensive cars he live he living the life this is him he talking about doing this you talk about why she acting like this hell well how is she supposed to act she said the top, the most successful men on the face of earth want to eat my groceries. How am I supposed to act? Can you? <laughs> and then discard me. So that's the part, you know what I mean? She won't want to tell the whole story. They uh, ain't. Or they might want to keep you around, but nobody's taking you serious. No monogamy. There you go. Not throwing that part in there. No. Just want to, he just want to eat what he want to eat. And, but the whole discard part, not discard me. No. Uh, they they reword it. They they will say that that successful, high earning, high value man, he was just on the hit list. Not me being on his hit list. Do you know he's on my hit list? <laughs> so here we go. We're gonna go through this. Um, hit the like button. We're gonna check some of this stuff out. I don't. I don't even. I don't even want to look. <laughs> I don't even <wanna> look. <laughs> and she's saying, "Y'all see the yams? Goodness gracious." She got a fat old ass. <laughs> That's all it is. That's it. Uh, 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 time's out. Something's up. Classy, where are you at? Somebody call this out. What are we looking at? Looks real. She gets a little meatball. Like I said, she ain't got a pretty face. Look, man. I ain't about to sit up here and try to debunk her. Y'all men need to do better. This is what y'all fall victim to every time. Every time. That's facts. Hell, this is what it is. And she talking about she do this on I. This is my only pushback. And she came up here and she said she goes on OF and men like to pay to watch her squat. No, because they can go right on your Instagram and watch you do this. Tell the truth what you're doing on OF. That's my only thing. It don't even matter because you're for the streets. There you go. There you go. I be, can't even say it no better. Yeah, this is for the free. Seeing you squat is for the free. You ain't doing the same exact thing on, on behind the paywall. That's it, you ain't. Thing. Yeah. You ain't got that kind of juice. And that's, they make it seem like they got that kind of juice. Like, I'm making, you know, whatever, $1,000 a month doing OF, and all I'm doing is just squatting and jeggings. Nah. you. I guarantee <laughs> the squat is she doing on that OF, not an ounce of clothing. <laughs> That's all. You talking about feet pictures and all that? Look, mm -hmm. we got traders amongst us, fellas. And it's unfortunate. It really is. But they say it ain't tricky if you got it. It's hard to come up. The man got the resources. Hey. If if I, if you could make a living, you know, more or less simply by sexualizing yourself, would you like, would you do it? Because <laughs> they is. 
23 ain't no coming back from this though so hey she made her deal she made her deal she could scrub this year down the line she could scrub this scrub this at uh she can't hmm? scrub her software though her brain no, that's, hell. True. that's true would love to see this update 10 years down the road interested to see Here's I want I would like to see us be proven wrong to be 100% truthful. Like I would love to see that there is <laughs> some kind <laughs> this is dumb. And my guy Dick Gregory said it best. A big old booty and everybody says she's a fine booty. The booty is where the doo doo is, boy. So, she got <laughs> supreme supreme yamage. This is this is called supreme yamage. I mean, like you said, you can't hate on it. Hey, congratulations, sisters. It is what it is. You ain't a wife. It's unfortunate. We'll see you back up here in 10 years. But <laughs> but now, you got the gun for now. We you got the gun. Hey, yeah. It's, it's unfortunate. Regardless of how much, you know, we want to stand for the resistance. She got the juice at the moment. But the juice runs out. <laughs> It does. And someday, hopefully not, but we know where this is trending. Only thing that's going to be left is Pope, Seeds, and Skin. But right now, a lot of juice. whole lot of juice. <laughs> so, that was her. Uh, hey, listen, if you a heterosexual man, hell, it is what it is, brothers. Because <laughs> we would rather her be a wife to a good man, you know? But she ain't. It's unfortunate. She's a side piece. That's my that's my gripe. That's why I'm up here complaining. Why can't this sister just get with a man and settle down and have some kids and be happy and have happiness? <laughs> no, they got to They got to share that image for the world to see. I need all the gratification I can get from every man and or woman on the face of this earth. Thank you, IG. Thank you, YouTube. She ain't no kitchen release. She ain't no wife. But listen, <laughs> we gotta listen. I like. I'm more. I'm more of the lane of definitely holding the men more accountable with situations like this, or just let her be. You can't because it ain't one sided. That's she ain't it. Herself. That's what we saying is. Don't be mad at her. There's absolutely zero reason to have any gripe against this sister. She doing what she doing. My thing is, I feel for my brothers, and I know the hope that she can have on some of y'all. So I don't like her for y'all. All right, I, I, know age, what... I, I think the age got a lot to do with it too. If she was like 33, 43, totally different conversation. 23, yeah. ta, this is where we at. It's a it's a wicked reality we gotta accept. This it's not going to go back to the way it was. It's going to continue to move forward. It's, it's hell. But now, you know, these stallion-esque 23-year-olds, they most likely going to have OF, OF dreams, OF aspirations. It's going to become a new just coming-of-age norm. My gosh. Says so she's done at 23. News on the internet forever. Uh, that is true. That uh, is true. Uh, <laughs> that's sad. But like you said, some simp, some simp. So it's hard to even say that because there's some simp out there that would marry her and put her in a damn mansion. Yes. And that's and, and he might not be black. He it. might not be black, but he, he exists. I'll say that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's 23. She fairly young. She's fairly tender. She can look up and get into some wicked, wonky situation. Whatever. That's it. It's going to take luck, but it ain't mm. impossible. I'll say that. Yeah. Yeah. She going she gonna to give them. No fulfillment, though. Cause I think a lot of times like, you can say one thing and people can hear something differently. Like I said, we saying, could she get married? Yeah. Is this man going to be monogamous? No. He no. might have three other women just like her across wherever. But yep. possible. And he he loved to have three other women and not be hitting on them himself other than his financial resources. All that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. X. Fulfillment is not in the equation. Just 
monetary gain, nice trinkets. Yeah, and me clashing, I guess. <laughs> but the net net of it, as far as she go, Glaze Galaxy, I'm guessing. Oh, where else? <laughs> I think I think every last OF model that made it to Glaze Galaxy. She ain't special. <laughs> Here we go. We got us the gun line. Tell them about the gun line, boss. We may not know which way to go. Oh, no, I see this shit is going to be dangerous. Some dark winged duck shit. Let's get dangerous. I play the fool for the fool. Everybody plays the fool sometimes. And no exception to the rule. Listen, baby. Yeah, it's unfortunate, like you said. Should do we we don't hope none of y'all men sign up for it, mm. but you know, we living in reality. We can't just stick our heads in the sand and act like we don't know what's going on. All right. When we got women like Veronica that can get a husband. So Veronica, <laughs> 40 years old, three for three. This woman 23 with no kids. So she I mean, we gotta be realistic. With a 23 no kids with a hypnotic rump. It is what it is. Glory to the men that can let it be known what they vice, what they vices are. You know, the men, the men will say it. They're like, dang, I'm a sucker for a nice smile. I'm a sucker for a big old dookie shoot. <laughs> you know, but you sisters, y'all be y'all be hesitant to let it be known. That's part of your problem. Y'all afraid of being vulnerable, even if it's on a low level. <laughs> men will let it be known that. That ass will get you every time. Every time. <laughs> yeah. That's why I said, his, listen, history has shown me too much. I can't sit up here and be delusional. Yeah. Yeah, see, that's that's the thing. When you've been out there, you know, you done been outside off the porch, then seen it. Then seen how ninjas will act for the chance at a little bit of cuda cat, especially something that's built like that. The seen y'all. That's why we bring up these scenarios, being at the bar, final call. We done seen it, experienced it, laughed about it, and made fun of our friends about it. So you can't have from us. 